More than half a century ago and halfway around the world, an ordinary man did something extraordinary. 65 years ago on April 16, 1952 to be exact. The place was Panmunjom, Korea. That man is Medal of Honor recipient Marine Corporal Dwayne E. Dewey of Cross Creek. He sits amongst us uh, truly as an American hero. At 20 years old, Mr. Dewey earned this honor by smothering an enemy grenade. Smothering an enemy grenade with his own body, which saved the lives of his fellow service members. I got hit by two hand grenades, and then the next morning in the field hospital, they found a bullet in my stomach that I didn't even know was there. So I'm just very fortunate to be here. A lot of people have asked me, would I do it over again? Well, like, nobody can answer that, right? It's, so it's just a predicament I got in, and most Medal of Honor recipients will tell you the same thing. They just get put in that predicament, you know, whatever happens, and they just do the best they can. Dewey was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Dwight D. Eisenhower on March 12, 1953, and preceding the 65th anniversary of his act of valor, he has received another honor. Alachua County has renamed Southeast 174th Place as Corporal Dwayne E. Dewey Place. Corporal Dwayne E. Dewey has been living in Cross Creek, Alachua County, Florida, for the past 30 years. And we are proud to have this hero amongst us. What an honor and privilege it is to be here today honoring a hero who's been among us for the last 30 years. Mr. Dewey, we thank you again for being a role model and an inspiration to all of us. Perhaps an inspiration and role model to none more than to his own family. It's an honor for us as a family to have his name on the end of this street. Since 1983, I've come to this, this road right here. I used to ride my bicycle up and down this road with my twin brother, Denny. I don't know how many times we've gotten in trouble out here on this road or how many times he's run us back to the house or run us out of the house. But for 30 plus years, we've come out to this road and now to come out to this road and see his name on this sign out here is truly an honor, not only for him, but for our family. So after the colors were posted, the pledge recited, and the national anthem sung, the only thing left was to say thank you to a true American hero who calls Alachua County his home. For Alachua County Communications, I'm Alan Yetter.